Hello. Hola. Greetings to all the Earthlings, aliens, and anybody out there watching this. Uh, I wanted to make a video today to address a lot of the questions I get asked in the comment section. Uh, some of them I don't quite understand. Makes me go like, huh? But sometimes I'm like, oh, that's a great question. So I wanted to make a video to kind of break it down, make it easy. I'm going to go over the kind of uh, canvas material, painting what I actually paint on. That seems to be a big one. And the type of paint I use and some different techniques. So let's do it. Okay, so on the first one, probably the most common thing you see everybody paint on, uh, poster board. Yeah, sounds like thunder. All right, so this is what is the most common. Um, the main question people always ask it, is it paper? Well, yes, it's made from paper, but it's thicker than construction paper or conventional paper, and it's glossy on one side. If it's not glossy on one side, the paint won't react the way you want it to. It'll actually seep into the paper, and you can't manipulate it and use it properly. So. You can find some that's glossy on one side and not or matte on the other, but the best kind is to find some that's glossy on both sides. Now in America it's called poster board or uh, work board. It's originally designed like for kids as a project board or to do school projects on in elementary school. So if you're in another country, you should be able to find something similar, but it might be called something different. All right? Okay, canvas is the next. A lot of people ask about this. Canvas, well, good canvas, is actually canvas material stapled to a wood frame. Some of you might be obvious, but others not. Now, all canvas is definitely not created equal, especially when using spray paint. I'll explain. These cheap ones you buy from the store, you know, you get a three or four pack for less than 20 bucks. This stuff is not even actually canvas. It's, it's some sort of gauze that they wrap, harden, and they paint white. Canvas. Now, good canvas, you'll be able to pick it up. It'll be normally thicker. It'll have a, almost sounds like a drum. I mean, it, this, is some, this is real canvas. And they normally put what's called gesso on it to kind of like seal it so you can paint on it. Now this stuff is super hard framed. Try to get this close here. S triple stapled. I mean, talking inch and a half thick wood. Now, the differences are on the cheap stuff, it's almost like poster board. It's, uh, you don't need a lot of paint and it actually works similar to poster board or the glossy board that I originally was talking about. The thicker canvas, which is better to use, lasts longer, it soaks way more of the paint. You, you need to spray a lot more of it in order to, to turn it into a glossy surface to work on. There's a lot of advantages, disadvantages of all three, but I personally mostly work on the big boys, the, the big canvas. Now the one thing I'll tell you about the cheap stuff is over time, because it's just spray paint on this gauze stuff, it cracks because spray paint 80 percent of it is enamel acrylic based so through time it essentially turns into like this enamel coating on the canvas and can crack like plastic on the canvas i've noticed it won't do that unless it gets hit or damaged because at the end that's one reason why i use a ton of layers of paint so even if you crack one or something happens there's other layers beneath so those are the main reasons why I use these materials. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can let me know, but I'm gonna move on to the paints. Sounds good. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so on the paints, there's pretty much two major paints that I use. Uh, the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch two-time, what it's called, 
And what this is, this is the acrylic enamel based thick. It's called two times because one spray is like two coatings. So when I'm painting with this style of art, it's really good for coating the canvas like I was talking about before, which might give you problems and blah, blah, blah. So this guy I recommend a lot, the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. And get extra caps because these bad boys, no matter how much you clean them, are gonna clog up and you're gonna need to get other ones. You can actually contact Rust-Oleum, uh, I think get their email off the website and they will actually email you, I'm sorry, email you, <laughs> mail you actually a bag of caps. I've had a bit of luck, they've done it to me a handful of times, so it's pretty cool. Uh, the other kind that I use, if you're here in the States, uh, you can get this Walmart brand, it's called, called Color Place, it's Walmart's specific brand. This is my favorite to use when doing things like uh, space gas, things like this. Using this painting I did a few years back, I got a bunch of them laying around, never sold, whatever. So. You take this color place, and this is what's really good for doing stuff in, the, stuff in the center here, like when I did this white dot. Always shake it up good. Always shake the cans up good. Get a spot. And for doing sprays like this, let me uh, zoom, zoom in here. So if I'm doing sprays like get close here you know just some like light light space gas I just added that right there so if you're using normal thick paint let me adjust this bad boy there we go all right so if you're using the real thick paints like the Rust-Oleum painters touch this stuff is not good for doing light sprays like what I just showed you, like mist, cloud, space gas. I always use the cheaper stuff. When I say cheaper stuff, the Walmart stuff is a dollar a can, 97 cents. This stuff is four to five dollars a can. Big difference. Now, if you're not in the States, any hardware store, anywhere you can buy paint should have a generic paint that will spray like this one. You just got to dabble and test them out and see which ones are the best. All right, cool. All right, I wanted to give you guys an example of the poster board and how the paint differentiates between this and canvas. So real quick, I'm gonna try to scan this in a little, a little closer here. Whenever I paint, so let's say I'm using, uh, I'm gonna do a planet. Got some gold, some yellow, some orange, some red. It's a black. Now I didn't need that much. And right off the bat, I like to use a little like smear technique. That's pretty fun. Okay. So that, that came out kind of cool. Okay. Now, if I take the canvas, and this is the cheap canvas, like the uh, thin stuff. If I do the same thing with that, I'm going to need a lot more paint, so let's try it. I'm going to spray it in the middle. You have to clean this cap off right quick. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to spray the yellow in the middle. Do the orange. The red. Same amount as I did before on the poster board, now the black. Now when I try to do the same thing, it looks similar, but it just doesn't react the same. It soaks more of the paint in. So the darker colors tend to dominate. So that's one advantage of the poster board. The colors blend brighter and a little bit better. Unless I covered this with a lot more brighter colored paint, yellows, orange, reds, it would have showed up better. So that's one thing that you can do to help with the painting. And I almost forgot, the last paint is I use is transparent. This is particular is Montana 94. That's the brand, the model, but the paint is transparent. 
So I'm gonna show you now. The color place. I'm gonna spray it on the outside white. Okay. Now this is where the third kind of paint will come in handy. This is the transparent paint, Montana 94. Montana's the company who makes the 94 is like the model brand of it, but it's transparent. So I'm gonna let this dry for, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and spray it with this yellow because I want this to be a more yellow than I do white on the planet side, or on the light side. And that's one way you can do it. I'm gonna come back in a second and show you. Okay, I'm back. So, got the Montana, Montana 94. Let this dry for about 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna spray it on top of the white. And you can see how, how yellow, I'll lay it down flat and see it better. But now it's, it's like see-through yellow. That's where the transparent paint, I'm sure there's other companies that make it, but it's called transparent spray paint. So it normally has a little clear like color in the top. So try that out. Bam. All right, on this next and final part, I'm gonna talk about layering paint. So the main difference people, well, I'm sorry, the main problem a lot of people have they say their paints bubble up, they don't mix well. Well, that's true, it's for me and everybody else who does it, because there's a lot of different ingredients in these paints. That's why the main key and trick that I always do is if I'm using the thicker paint to make the majority of the painting, I always let it dry for 15 at least, if not 30 minutes, especially when doing planets, then come back and use the cheap stuff. So it layers on top of it and doesn't mix and bubble up. So if you're painting live and are trying to do things fast, you might need to work on that or the fire technique can work sometimes, but normally waiting is, if you're just doing paintings on canvas for yourself to sell or whatever, I would recommend letting it dry and then layering the paints. That's the key, all right? I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, got any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be dropping more of these like this and painting videos as well. Thanks.